I'm Neil and in this video I'm going to go over a day trading penny stock recap on ticker NVFY. So let's look at the chart to start where this stock had a gap up in the pre-market today and as you can see on this one year one day chart it has had a big red day. So why has it been so red? <laughs> AKA the stock has decreased in price ever since the gap up. Well, the strategy is the gap up short because you notice the previous closing price around 2.5, the opening price around 7, and has receded down ever since. So one thing I did when I was looking at this stock in the pre-market is that I noticed all the levels and I tracked the stock from the beginning to the end. So I'm not going to take the time to do that, but I would like to just go over the highlights. Like it's at 2.5, it goes to 5, goes underneath. Now it's around 5, and then today, Thursday morning, it goes from around 5, the ending yesterday, all the way up to around 9, comes back to 7, and just to continue on, it starts, this is the key area of resistance being 8, and that's where you can create a short opportunity because it's at the resistance and has re gone down ever since. Now my day trade which I alerted live in my Discord. If you would like to join and learn how we trade and play these stocks together, uh, just send me an email, it's in the description, and we can get you into the Discord for free. So I had NVFY, I was short at 6.9, and I was risking a dollar to make a dollar. So when I open up the position size calculator, I can say that on a $10,000 account, I can take a 200 share position to go for $200 and risk $200 because I am going for a dollar share down as my target price and going for a dollar share up as my stop loss price. With that being said, now you just got to execute. So I was in more relative towards the open and so I noticed that the resistance at 7 was good. But the key level of the pre-market was 725. So I was like watching it, watching in the pre-market, not getting in the pre-market as I usually do. I was being patient, confident, and consistent with my strategy. So when I noticed that the stock tested above 725 but pulled back underneath, and as you can see the wick of this candle shows it's still underneath that level, I entered short right here on the top tick and I was able to take the gain a little bit early at 612 because I was up early and I wanted to take a win but as we can see from the continuation of the stock the move continued to go down all the way to five dollars which shows the strategy can play itself out when it's such a big move if you want to really maximize these wins the best way to do it is either enter in this circle and hold all the way to five. So if you get in around eight to five, that's three dollars a share, where my trade was only about a dollar a share. So you can make three X profit. And if you're very confident in the strategy and the potential big red move that this stock made today, you can size in for bigger amount of shares, which can lead to a bigger win. Right now, I just wanted to be disciplined with the position size calculator and also wanted to be passionate and get back on a green day. Uh, as we can tell, it's been a great day to be a short bias trader, especially with day trades like this. I just think that this is so much fun and if you all want to learn a little bit more, continue to watch the video, send me an email and we can potentially hit big on these day trades together. Alright, with that being said, be good everyone. See you soon.